What's up guys, we're back here with another video and today we're back here with some more Shatterline and today in this video I wanted to show you guys the best ways to get blueprints. If you don't know what blueprints are, um, if you go over to, let me see here, go over to Armory, or not Armory, sorry, Crafting, and you can craft these um, different blueprints, or not blueprints, mods with the blueprints, so you need 450 I believe I've crafted one so far and I have 224 more so I'm halfway to a second one. Um, I can go ahead and show you guys what, what the first, what the one that I got. It, it's absolutely random. Um, so let's go ahead and customize. So as you guys can see these modifications, the only way you get these is if you craft them with your blueprints. So that, that I just wanted to give you guys like a little preface, like a little background for what blueprints actually do. Um, for example, the one I got, this gun gives me 12% increased accuracy. The gold one here looks like it gives you increased RPM if reloaded while at full health. And they're just all so random. 10% increased damage beyond... And now that's kind of goaded. But see, that's what I'm saying. These things can be very, very useful. So, that being said, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a background before we actually got into it. So, the best ways to get blueprints, first off... Do your daily tasks. I know today there's only one. Like for instance yesterday, I think there was two of them that got you blueprints. But this one, kill hostiles while crouching. Very simple. You can do that probably in the expedition very easily, obviously. And, all, and, and the PvP mode, you can do it pretty easily as well. All you gotta do is crouch and get some kills. On top of that, if you go into... Sorry. If you go to play, and let's say I click expedition. Get first win of the day. So you get blueprints for the first one of the day on every single mode. So versus, get your first one of the day in versus, five more blueprints. And if you go over to weekly events, click this, you can go to, I think you can see it on get, there you go. Get your first win of the day with blueprint, with on, I think this is just, uh, it's a random event, it always switches up every now and then, but this is, uh, looks like you have to win one and then kill 15 people while playing this game mode. So there's, how many did that say? There's another 12 blueprints already right there. So, and then, like I said, do your daily tasks. Then, you want to start, no, I don't think there's any in operatives. Do your weekly, t your weekly tasks. Like, look at this. 25, 25, 20, 15, 20, 15, 15. Uh, some of them were not working. Like, for instance, this event killer. I've done two... Um, event modes like the weekly modes and it has not gave me any kills so I don't know if this is for something else if it's a different type of event but this one's personally not working for me if anyone knows why this one isn't working let me know but yeah do your weekly challenges man they, they come out we got another week coming out in three days um, but yeah another 15 25 15 20 35 15 20 so it's just constant blueprints then, let's say you've done all your da daily tasks, you've done all your weekly tasks, you've won your first game on every everything. Sadly enough, you cannot get blueprints while playing Versus and weekly events. So, like, like when you finish the game, all you get is the white currency, which this currency is to buy, like, attachments, like, attachment slots to buy uh, weapons. Um, and I think this is for the battle pass, because I bought the battle pass, so I think that's what this is here. But the only way you can get blueprints after you finish all your daily tasks and stuff like that is the expedition. And you can get either five by completing one objective, which is very, very simple. Um, you can do, if you do two of them, you'll get another five. If you do three, you'll get ten more. And then, um, I think you can, I think these are total because I, I don't think they keep stacking. I think in total you can get like twelve on a normal. I think it's just, I think it's five, five, ten, fifteen for your first first time doing it of the day but if you do more of them I think you can only cap out like 12 oh right here uh, extraction rewards 2 blueprints 4, 8, 12 so I think if you do it if you do this once every single day I think you can get 5, 10, 5, 10 20 25 plus 12 so 37 just from completing a, a whole extraction every single day so that's just tons of blueprints and then after you do that you can keep running these these are very, very simple in my opinion. All you need is some communication in my opinion. I, I would not recommend doing it. I mean, yes, you can do solo queue and just do it by yourself. 
if you are doing solo queue, there's methods on doing it easier. I'll, I'll make a couple vi like tips, tips and guides videos for this game mode if you guys want them. I think I'm going to either way, but let me know if you guys are interested in stuff like that. But yeah, guys, I think that is all the different methods. So we went over daily tasks. We went over weekly tasks. We went over winning your first game in every single mode. Um, and then expedition. Winning your first thing expeditions. Then also just doing expeditions. So I think that is everything. We went over the background. We went over every single method of getting the blueprints. And I guess I did. I was going to say the fastest methods. I think I did do them in the fastest method. Do your daily tasks. That's just, I can't stress that enough. Do your daily tasks. Win your daily task. Like, like do your expeditions. I mean, it's, it's free, quick, fast blueprints. You just got to do your daily tasks. That, that I cannot stress that enough. Win your, day, win your first match of the day. It's just free blueprints and really does not take that long. Expeditions is probably the longest thing that it'll take you to do. It'll probably take you about a half an hour to do a whole run. Unless you're playing with some of your friends, you can probably do it much quicker. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. I don't think I left anything out. I, I, I believe I hit every single point. It, it's pretty. I gave you pretty much every single method you could get blueprints and the fastest way of doing them. I, I personally think do as many as you can in PvP and then go to Expeditions and do the rest in Expeditions. That's my personal opinion. Um, but it, it's your preference. If you don't like doing PvP, then do Expeditions. If you like PvP, then do PvP. It's just, it's really your opinion, opinion on what you like better, but it's all about your daily task and getting that first one of the day because that is where you're going to get your blueprints. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hit the like button, hit the sub button. Sorry for the video being so long. I just It's a lot to, a lot of stuff to cover, and I, and I want to make sure you guys get every single bit of knowledge you could possibly can from this video. So that being said, guys, hit the like button, hit the sub button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.